We were just talking about Tara Henderson the other day when she bought a new Gucci bag. Some people say Tara's trying to keep up with the Joneses and Tara was trying to get Alex Earl's attention on Instagram. But now new drama has emerged and we have to talk about it. Right before Tara and her family left for Disney, she was MIA. She was packing and working on a big campaign shoot. Tara did a campaign with Walmart with her girls. It was less than a minute long. They had matching outfits and she posted all of this sponsored content on Instagram. Then Tara headed off to Disney with her family and she started posting in real time on Instagram starting the moment they arrived at the airport. Some would say it's not safe for family vloggers to post in real time. Number one, because you're giving hundreds of thousands of people your location. And then number two, you're also letting everybody know that your house is sitting there empty. Now, did Tara hire a house sitter while she was gone? I don't know. Throughout their entire trip to Disney, Tara would often tag their exact location, sharing which ride they were currently on or where they were currently eating. Some people said the amount of stories she's posting is insane, is constant. How can she be present with her kids when she's always on her phone? Tara can't live in the moment. Everything is for the gram. I'm stunned that she's posting this shit in real time. The location she's at for the day, etc. Like, first of all, it's not winter break here for your fans to be following you around the parks. Second, I wouldn't exploit my kids on the internet and then publicly again in real time post where we are. She just doesn't make sense. Tara and Adam currently have a full-time nanny. They've had a nanny for years now. People often wonder why they have a full-time nanny or a nanny at all because Tara closed her boutique. She doesn't really post on YouTube that often. She hasn't posted on YouTube in over a month. She posts links on Instagram and she'll do a few sponsorships on Instagram every now and then. So viewers wonder, what does she do with her time? Why does she need a nanny? When you use your life as content, when you monetize your life and post it on social media as content, people will share their opinions about your life. And people have a lot to say about Tara and Adam having a nanny. People say things like, good Lord, Tara's nanny goes with them everywhere now. I think it's so strange that Tara doesn't have a nine to five job and technically she can stay home with the kids, yet she hires someone to take care of them while she goes out to get her nails done and buy Gucci purses. Why have all the kids if you can't take care of them? Isn't that the joy of motherhood? Spending time with your kids, getting to know their personalities, and watching them grow? I feel like she barely sees them, and when she does, she's sticking a camera in their faces. These kids are going to grow up not knowing their mother. Moms take care of four or more kids all the time, even single moms. Their nanny is going, lol, good thing, so she can follow with a camera, so cringy. I would look back and ask myself, why? She should be holding the other two's hands, not her. So Tara can't even go to Disney with her family without a nanny? What the actual F? You only have four kids. It's totally doable to care for them, just dad and mom. Tara posted this picture of her nanny pushing the stroller, Tara walking beside her, and Tara writes, couldn't do this trip without you. A viewer said, if my husband saw me post this, he'd divorce my ass. Why can't you do it with Adam's help? Then Tara posted this picture. It's a picture of her nanny dancing with her three girls, and Tara writes, my daughter is twerking to Twinkle Twinkle. The definition of twerk is to dance to popular music in a sexually provocative manner involving thrusting hip movements and a low squatting stance. I watched Tara's stories, and in my opinion, I do not believe her daughter was twerking. She was dancing to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star with her sisters. Some people were really upset by Tara's post and couldn't believe she would post something like this about her young daughter on Instagram? Let's read a few comments. First off, she's thankfully not twerking. Super weird of Tara to call it that. When we all know twerking is a very adult dance move for obvious reasons, she's so gross. Tara posted an Insta story where the girls are running around and singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. For whatever reason, Tara jokes that her daughter is twerking to the song. Um, no, she's not twerking to the song. She's running around and stomping along. And even if she was, why would you post it for all the peas to see? I feel like this woman makes half this shit up for attention, and she probably believes it in her head. These posts she puts out that don't make any sense, there's obviously something wrong with her mentality. I thought this was pretty gross too. 
Not the little girl, but the mother trying to display it for all to see. As soon as Tara got home from Disney, she was sick and tested positive for C. Even though Tara was sick, did not feel well, and tested positive for C, she was still able to give her viewers updates like the fact that she just took a shower. And Tara also had time to post a lot of affiliate links on Instagram. She also did this throughout her trip to Disney as well. If you notice, there's a slight change on Tara's gift guides. Usually her gift guide says gift ideas. This time she writes Amazon gifts I purchased. I wonder why she changed the wording on her gift guides. A lot of people recently online have been talking about influencers just linking products that they don't even own, that they can't recommend, they've never even used. So it seems like Tara has heard some of this online and she's making changes to her content. Tara took her girls to see Santa and they got their picture with Santa and Tara's son did not go with them to see Santa. He was not included in the Santa picture and Tara got a lot of backlash online about her choice to not include her son in their family Santa picture. I think Tara began to feel this backlash right away either in her DMs or she must read gossip threads or Reddit because she began to justify her decision for not including her son in this trip to see Santa right away. Tara said, this place sells out so fast. There was only a couple of morning time slots available for this day. I'm so glad we took it because it's completely dead. No one was there. Tara also posted a lot of DMs that she said she received from viewers. I'll read a few of them. Just do what you feel is best for you and your family. Don't worry about the judgment of others. I'm a special education teacher and know firsthand how new events and sensory overload can affect children. Don't worry about opinions from people who aren't in your shoes. You are seen and this is so valid. It's hard at times. Mine still won't trick or treat, so we can never fully go as a family of five. It's a grieving process. Tara also wrote out her feelings and posted this on Instagram. As fun as these moments are, I just want to be transparent and real with you guys that my heart aches at the same time when our son isn't able to enjoy every single moment with us because he's in therapy. I just have to have peace knowing that our son is exactly where he needs to be. They do many holiday activities with the kids at his school, so it's not like he's missing out completely on the holiday magic. Tara goes on to say, last year she would cry daily because she struggled so badly with this. Last year it was harder because her son truly did not enjoy the outings, family photos, sitting on Santa's lap, etc. Tara also says she doesn't expect anyone to understand unless you've walked in her shoes. Now let's hear from the other side. Let's read a few comments from people who do not agree with Tara's decision to leave her son out of the family Santa picture. It's the needing strangers validation for me. She will pull him out of school to go to Disney for a week, but will not take him out for the day to meet Santa. She pulls the big girls from school because of grandparents day, but doesn't care to pull out her son for this. Had to unfollow her after this. The fact that the entire family and the nanny got to go, but she couldn't have her son miss one day of school. My son is on the spectrum too, and I would have gladly pulled him for the day to go with the family. But in all honesty, my son would have been so overstimulated with all of that. If that's the case, then she could just be honest and say that. Her giving this excuse makes it look worse. But he did fine at Disney. She was raving how great he was doing. He would have done just fine with this if he can handle Disney. What do you think about everything? If you'd like to share your thoughts and opinions, leave a comment. Thanks for watching YouTuber Headlines. For more Tara Henderson drama videos, check out this playlist. See you next time.